What's up guys, welcome back to the channel. And this is not the video that I had planned for today. Um, this is this just happened. Um, I just figured I'd go ahead and uh, make a video um, just so I could vent and just let it out um, because I'm not in a good mood right now. Um, so, I decided to drive my car over to see my mom, which is about 30 minutes from here. Um, I don't know why, and, you know, I, I've driven the car at night before, and I was just talking to John about somebody else. Um, I don't know if you guys know him. His uh, Instagram is M2Ghost. Uh, he actually ended up having some issues on his way to um, New Jersey. So I was telling John, I was like, you know, that's the reason why I don't like driving at night or especially I don't like taking trips at night. Obviously I can't avoid driving at night because if I end up going somewhere, obviously sometimes I'm gonna end up being, being stuck and I'm not gonna be, I'm not gonna be driving, oh shit, got a bug in there. I'm not gonna be driving my car at night. I mean, never driving at a night because what's the point of having a car like I'm not driving a show um, show queen trailer queen garage queen whatever you guys want to call it if I build a car it's gonna be a car that I can drive often um, and you know not be afraid of taking it out you know at night or whatever <clears throat> but to get to the point I was on my way back I was riding behind a car I had maybe about three car lengths uh, of space and there was a car I know there was a car not technically beside me but almost beside me uh, maybe like a car behind me but on the left lane so I'm riding down the right lane uh, so we're cruising we're going 65 miles an hour um, and the car I guess you know most people what they normally do is if they see something on the road they're not gonna swerve They'll just keep going because obviously most of the cars can go over whatever is on the road. And well, mine can't. So as soon as the car went over something, whatever it was, I didn't see it. It was something black and I thought it was an animal. Uh, but at this point, it could have been a piece of tire. It was a chunk this big. It had to be this big and about... I don't know, maybe this tall. Uh, it, it was it was something laying on the road, and it was black. So by the time that the car went over it, and by the time that I saw it, it was too late. I didn't want to run the risk of switching lanes without looking, because I knew there was a car on the left lane, but I didn't know how far back how bar, uh, far back it was. I just like I hadn't checked to see before, and that's just kind of one of those things where. It could have gone bad if I would have switched lanes, well, or I could have switched lanes and avoided whatever was on the road. But I chose not to just because I didn't want to run that risk. And the thing is, it happened so quick that it was just kind of like I saw it and I was like, you know, like you start, you punch your butt cheeks so hard that you're pinching the seat and, you know, you're holding onto the steering wheel like mad tight, like just waiting on the impact to hit. So as soon as I hit it, I just knew my lip was gone. Um, I'm pretty sad um, because I just made a video about the mods that I have. I haven't had that lip on too long. And you know what? Uh, we, we can all blame John. Um, you guys probably know who he is, Thick F30, because whenever I saw him the other day, he was like, he said he gave he was giving me about a month before I would trash the lip, so we can blame him. <laughs> uh, no, I mean, jokes aside, um, this is bound to happen to anybody. I've driven low cars for years. Uh, I want to say maybe since 2000 and uh, maybe let's say 2010. I was probably driving a low car since 2010. I had a Lexus IS300. If you guys scroll down to my old videos, I uploaded a couple of videos way back. Um, I wasn't really into making videos like that for YouTube. I just kind of wanted to play around with it. And um, but you guys can see that car was actually, if it, I want to say, it might have been lower than 
what the BMW is right now. Um, talking about lip wise. So I drove that car everywhere um, and I never actually had the issue. I would drive it in early in the mornings, during the day, late at night. Never had an issue. Had the car for about 40, I want to say three, four years. And um, yeah, so never had an issue with that car driving it low. And I mean, the thing is, when I got, when I was going home, there was two ways for me to take. I should have taken the, the, the second option. Um, I know I usually always take the same way home, which is a two lane, two lane highway with no shoulder, barely any shoulder. Um, the only thing that that, that the highway has is those bumps in case you, I guess you end up having to verge or off the road. Um, that's all it has. So it doesn't have any shoulder for me to try to, like for me to avoid it. And um, I don't know, it's like I had this feeling that I should have taken the other way home, like the bigger highway. Uh, but taking the bigger highway was probably going to be two, three minutes longer. And I don't know, like I wasn't thinking. And now I know why. I should have listened to my gut when I thought about taking the bigger highway for some reason. Just, I mean, even though I never take that highway, it, came, it crossed my mind to take it. But I never, I, I chose not to. I just chose to go back home the regular way. And, um, yep. So, there we have it. Um, my lip is done. Um, I'll insert some video clips that I have, or a video clip that I have of the lip right now. So, I really don't know what to do with uh, what I'm going to do with the, with that whole situation. I mean, the lip, you can't fix it. I mean, maybe you can, but I don't think it's worth it. Um, it took a chunk off of it because it did drag on the highway. So, I, I don't even know if it's worth fixing. Uh, maybe somebody that knows how to work on fiberglass and they can do it themselves, yes. But, uh, I mean... I'd have to pay somebody because I've noticed that it looks kind of warped in like a certain section and I don't even think it's worth fixing. Um, but I'm going to check on it. Not that I really want it because I did want to get a car. I did want to have a carbon fiber lip so I really don't want to fix it and paint it gloss black because that's kind of going to defeat the whole purpose of whatever I was trying to do to have everything carbon fiber in the, at the bottom. Um, but yeah guys. Here's an example, even though I bolted the lip on really well, obviously that wasn't going to save it. I mean, it saved it from falling off by itself on the highway. So I guess that's, you know, one good thing. But the other thing is, I mean, at that height, there was just no way of saving it. So, and, and the thing is, it's not, it, I know the lip sticks out farther than a lot of the other lips, but even if I had the various lip, that was probably that probably would have happened. Um, I would have went through the same issue. That lip would have been done. Um, even the M Performance lip, if I had a carbon fiber one and M Performance, that lip would have been done too. Um, but what you gonna do, right? Shit happens. Um, you want to have a low car? That's what's gonna happen. Um, you want to have carbon fiber parts? That's what's gonna happen. And um, yeah guys, uh, I don't know what I'm going to do yet, but here's the video for today. And um, I did have a video planned out for, ex um, I was going to do an exhaust video with the burbles and show you guys what the difference between medium and soft was. But then this happened, so I don't know. Maybe we'll get something worked out in the future for the next video. Um, I got to take some time, maybe... I gotta sleep it off and kind of just 
get my mind straight, uh, back on track. But yeah, guys, uh, thank you if you stuck to the end of the video, hear me babble. I don't know what I was just saying, just kind of off the top of my head. And like, I'm still upset, so I can't, I don't really have my thoughts fully straight. But at least it's just a lip. Uh, it could have been worse. Um, but yeah, guys, thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.